Here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scarnet? Bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version, Episode 52. In the last episode, in Episode 51, unfortunately, um, we had to do post commentary in the last 10 minutes of the episode, or rather 15 minutes, or whatever it was, um, due to the fact that I was so shocked of my uh, phrasing of the interview I had with Gabby and Ty that I said "Ali, Ali, Ali, Oi, Oi, Oi." And I accidentally muted my video uh, towards the end, and it also muted the video that Ari had done in this one. So this is going to be post-commentary. Other than that, in the last episode, we went inside Shoal Cave, and we explored Moss Deep City. And in this episode, we're going to go take on the Moss Deep City gym leader known as Tate and Liza, the Mystic Combination. So let's go talk to this guy right here, or let's look at the statue, rather. Moss Deep City Pokemon Gym. Alright, so if you go talk to this guy, finally, or check my Pokemon. Okay, well, I clearly don't remember this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you are still hyped, regardless of the fact that I'm this is post-commentary, be sure to click on that like button and go smash on that right quick. And, uh, yeah. Yo, how's it going, champion? Stan, the gym leader here uses Psychic-type Pokemon. If you go against them with fighting or psych or psych what poison type Pokemon, they'll inflict horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how f tight you are into your Pokemon. Go for it. I think I misread that, but it's fine. We did a little sample in the last episode against these two trainers, so uh, it's not the most. I don't know. I decided to do a sample. I'm kind of regretting it, but it's fine. Um, I don't want to face these two trainers. They're mostly all double battles in this entire gym. But I want to go the other way. For the reasoning, because if I take care of that room, um, you're not going to get all double battles. And it's much quicker doing double battles than single battles because there's like eight trainers or eight double battles. And if you're going to take them one by one by one, it will be 16 matches. And you don't want that. Foo foo foo. Watch me levitate a Pokeball. Tell it. Tele telekinetically, wow. Uh, let me start that over. Foo foo foo, watch me levitate Pokeball telekinetically. Roar! Sometimes I add a I'm out of sync. Okay. I see it! I see your future! If you can't beat me, I will tell you your future! Okay, so we're gonna go do a double battle. And of course, Wendy's still trying to catch up. She is on par against this gym so far. And it's Blake and Samantha, psychics. And I do like the green and pink that they're doing because it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Giraffric and Zatu. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go take care of these guys right now. We're gonna have Wendy and Jimmy here. I wanted to use Jimmy because he is not level 39 yet. And uh, I, you know, I kind of still want to have my. Pokemon in growth, but we're gonna go Thunderbolt Zatu right quick. And for Giraffe Rig, I'm just gonna simply Thunderbolt him. And that's him, that's you know, it's gonna kill Zatu no problem. Or did I say Thunderbolt to Giraffe Rig? I meant Flamethrower. But when he's level 36, I'm talking really just just a lot. But uh, yeah. Um, other than just me commentating on the Pokemon themselves, uh, there's some stuff that, uh, of course, I'm not gonna talk about Pokemon types in this episode. I think we finish dark types and I forgot to mention that dark types is also strong against ghosts it just escaped my mind nobody told me this I just remembered literally after I recorded um, but yeah uh, other than that uh, I've been well for a while I haven't been going to school it's because you know recently it was Thanksgiving and they kinda give three days off in like all schools in the United States and I'm pretty sure I don't know if it's other countries. I know that the UK doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, as far as I'm aware. You will make, or you will wage a terrifically something battle. The results, you won't hear it from me. I think she talks about the gym battle. She's like, you'll, you'll, you'll have a terri terri ter terrifying battle against the double battle. You're going to have a hard time. Or something like that. I don't know. But I'm going to go to the other room. And this is how I wanted it. Because if I were to uh, enter from the left, I wouldn't be able to face the guy on the right from me right now. Or the girl that's in the bottom right. Let me show you perfectly something. Roar! I have a taste of my super bard battling power. 
But yeah, I, it's been a while since I've been to school, and I do believe, actually, I'm going to cut myself off right here yet again, because I do believe that the Hex Maniac has a Wobbuffet, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, fun fact for you guys, if you have Wobbuffet versus Wobbuffet, even when they run out of moves and have struggle, if both Wobbuffets have leftovers, the match will never end. Because leftovers will recover the health, and uh, it will recover more health than the damage done with struggles. So, don't have a Wobbuffet Wobbuffet battle. That's why Wobbuffets are banned. You you know, it's a possible endless battle, and you don't want that. No winners will come to this. So yeah, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. There's always got to be one person. Like, if you really think about it, if there's got to be uh, a match with no rules. If both people have Wobbuffets, you know, their ideas will have going and they're going to put in that Wobbuffet against your other Wobbuffet. Just to force endless turns or whatever. Anyway, though, um, yeah, my college class, it's almost over for the semester, for, for winter semester, or rather fall semester. And I'm going to begin spring semester in like a month from now or something like that. But uh, it's been a while since I went to class. It feels like a long time at least. And um, I already explained this in the episodes like a couple episodes before, but I only enjoy my Friday class. And my Friday class, it's kind of funny because uh, there's this dude I was sitting next to literally the entire time he had his cell phone out throughout the class. And I don't know how the, like, I understand the fact that this class, sometimes classes can be boring and you could text and, and like, go on your phone. But what I don't get, and Future Sight's gotta hit Wendy here, what I don't get is how can you text throughout the entire course of the class? This class is like three hours long. He literally had his cell phone out in front of him. How do you do that? Are you texting six people? What? How? I don't understand. Like every now and then, like I could get my cell phone out and I'm texting a person and they take like a minute or so to reply and then, you know, most of the time the conversation doesn't last that long. But how is that guy next to me doing it for that long? I don't know. I don't understand. It kind of boggles my mind a little bit, but we took care of those two trainers. I don't quite remember how I dealt with that Wava Fed. I'm probably I'm pretty sure I confused rate him or something. And then Willow Wisp him or something like that. I'm pretty sure. I did some start, some smart strategy. And if you're like, you know, watching the matches rather than listening to me, or if you're doing both, which you should be doing, I may be past my prime, but I suggest you not patronize me. You're not getting thrown to the internet if I can help it. Um like, you know, like you're supposed to then yeah, yeah good for you you know you, you have you have the sense of vision and you have the sense of hearing so good for you good on you and this is like the first match that we had in the last episode is like not to in giraffe rig was it the last episode i think it was the la last episode and it was the same it's gonna be the same outcome because it's not to and not zatu so i should be able to kill these pokemon without a problem wendy's still level 36 just like these pokemon which is good so, yeah. I'm pretty sure in this episode, the first match we had was like a Kadabra and a Curlia. Yeah, that's what it was. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much... It's pretty much it, so it's not all that bad. So, Flamethrower and Giraffe Rig. Okay. It didn't die just like last time, but I don't think Giraffe Rig in the last episode even hit us either. But yeah, there's something else I wanted to talk about and I really don't remember. I do feel bad because some classes, um, I, oh, it's the Wendy's level 37, not that's so good. Um, some classes I didn't go to on purpose, even though I was, huh, excuse me, um, even though I was supposed to go, and I just decided to not go because I had stuff to do, uh, so that's one of the reasons I felt bad for, and some assignments I couldn't complete because I just... I, it, well, it really depends on on the reasoning and what classes it is. But this semester isn't all that good for me. I don't know, because like I said, the Friday class is my only fun class. And even that class, I felt bad for missing a couple days. But as it's just what's going to happen. I don't know. But we're going to go phase these two guys. 
um, when this semester happens, I don't know, it's, I'm trying to see if it's me being unmotivated, or if it's me just having bad luck of having classes I really don't like. So, I'm not sure about that. Or it just could be me being lazy, because I have been focusing a little bit more into my channel lately. Um, at the same time, I can't really post videos every day like I would like to. Part of the reason is because I, you know, since I got roommates, I'm forced to sleep in the living room. And uh, when you're in the living room, you, you're limited to how much private time you have. So, uh, yeah, so right now my roommates are in their room uh, because, you know, I asked them to go to their room because I'm going to record. And because I had to post commentate because my private time uh, was used up and it was like you know I accidentally muted my video and now I have to ask for more time just to post commentate this episode but uh, it's all in a good day's worth because you know it's worth it in the end I like posting videos I sometimes I, I really don't like it when I fail record I really don't it's the worst thing in the world it's like for content creators when that happens to you you just know that just sucks you know you messed up and now you have to start that over and you don't have that same spark um, as enthusiasm even if your people don't consider you to have the most personality or whatever it it downgrades just a little bit when you re-record an episode or if you have to post commentate it because there's some stuff missing that you didn't have or well, I, I, it is correct that I'm saying that. Y you are missing something, but at the same time, for this episode, I didn't even have my notes out. I still don't... W wait, hang on. When you listen to me, don't you be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak. I'm just too strong. Even at the risk of life, I will win this battle. Um, But yeah, I was going to say that uh, in the original recording of this episode, I didn't have my notes out, so I couldn't explain what, uh, Pokemon they had, or what moves they had, so, I guess, in hindsight, it's better than the original recording, and I'm telling a story in post-commentary, you know, there's some, there's some pros and there's some cons, uh, when it comes to post-commentary and live commentary, but, at the same time, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just like I was trying to say. You're you're missing something what you said originally, and I it's just gone. I don't know. It's it's really hard to explain. You have to be a content creator to understand, or a person that understands very well and knows a lot about the Let's Play community, or. Uh, I guess anything related to cinema, because that could be included in film, or movie, or DVD, same same thing pretty much. Videos and movies are kind of different though, because when it comes to movies, you have film to do, and you got production to take care of. And for my type of videos, I'm playing it on an emulator, and I'm recording it, and I'm editing it, and this could be done... Uh, if right, and if I was like to work non-stop, it could be finished less than three hours. Because I take most of my time editing this video. I, I remember a while back, uh, a long time ago, and by the way, I'm trying to fix up this thing so I could go to the other side. Because to go on this side, uh, there's some statues blocking the, the green thing, and I already done that. And uh, because I went to the green button, and that kind of fixes up the statue so it doesn't get out of my way. The teleporter coming up is actually the room to go to the gym leader. And I think I have to save what I was going to say, not in the, not in the, uh, not in the following episode, but uh, later. So, right quick, let's go face the gym leaders, Tate and Liza. So, yeah. <laughs> were you surprised? Foo -foo -foo, were you surprised? That, that there are two, two gym, gym leaders? leaders. We're, We're twins. twins! We don't need to talk because we can we can each determine what the other is thinking. All in our minds! This is a combination of ours. Can you beat it? Alright, so the battle is now 
Stan versus Tate and Liza is a four on six, but uh, looking at the levels, it really doesn't matter what we are. So uh, yeah, so in Ruby and Sapphire, she only has two Pokemon. In Emerald version, she has four Pokemon, and they're all. I don't know. This makes me so much. It, just the whole thing of the thought of me being over leveled is well over in the past. It's like I was never over leveled in the first place because it's the boss battles that really tell you if you're over leveled or not. Because if you look at it, second generation, uh, then you know you would say that you are or not. But yeah, this makes me feel so much better. I was never over leveled to begin with because this is proof enough that I'm very more likely just on par right now. Either way, though, we see that there's Zatu and Clayton on the field. Zat, uh, sorry, Zatu has to move Psychic, Sunny Day, Confused Ray, and Calm Mind. There's a reason he has Sunny Day, and Clayton, as you can see, has Earthquake, Ancient Power, Psychic, and Light Screen. So, Wendy's in very, very big trouble here, and uh, Jimmy's just dead. So I have to switch Jimmy into someone else. Well, probably because I have to. And I want to go switch into, well first I'm looking at Wendy for some reason. I think I was looking at the experience or something? I don't know what I was doing here. Oh well, well it's kind of, it's kind of in the past now. But we're going to bring in Swampert, just so I can take care of that clay doll because I need to have Surf. Zatu's pretty much dead by now. But like, like I said, there's a specific reason why Zatu has Sunny Day. I mean, not, nothing in this battle so far has something that could uh, benefit off of it, except for Windy right now, because uh, Windy's a Fire Type move. So there, or Fire Type move, Fire Type Pokemon. So there's no reason for him to use Sunny Day at this point. But it's not very unlikely that he will use it. So, I'm looking at the power between Surf and Muddy Water and realized that I was wasting my time with it. Uh, but like I said, I replaced Muddy Water on Water Gun because Water Gun's weak enough and I might as well have a stronger water move. But at the same time, in, in the future, in the near future, I'm going to have to uh, replace Muddy Water for an HM, so there's really no point. Either way, Claydol's confused because I made Windy use Confuse Ray on it, or unless it was something other than that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah, as you saw, there's a hyper potion usage on that Zatu, and it took it really well. Did it light screen earlier? I didn't pay attention. It doesn't. Oh, well, the Kaleida has light screen, so that must be it. I'm pretty sure. I really want Wendy to get the experience, except the fact that I do want to switch Wendy out eventually, because Kaleido's really dangerous. Windy doesn't have a great match against this thing at all. If you really think about it, uh, looking at the whole team in whole, a Houndoom would actually be great out here. Uh, well, not not really against uh, Claydol, but uh, it would not be the worst thing in the world. Actually, uh, scratch that. I was just thinking earlier about Ruby and Sapphire, since she has only the... Or she, it's not just one person, it's two. Tate and Liza, if they just have two Pokemon. One of the Pokemon is Lunatone. This is, I believe, Tate's main Pokemon. Lunatone, level 42, holding a Citrus Berry with Light Screen, Psychic, Hypnosis, and Calm Mind. It is in Ruby and Sapphire version. It has the same moveset, except it does not have a Citrus Berry. And that's the only difference. Lunatone, uh, if it was, if it had a better moveset, it can learn Ice Beam. Um... And it can learn an Earthquake, and or I believe Earth Power is better for him because he's a special attacker. But I want to switch into Skarmory only because, or did I do it? I don't know if I did it or not. It's better because uh, I was nervous that it would have a rock move. Like I said, I didn't have my notes at the time, which is why, you know, it's, it's kind of decent that I'm doing post commentary and telling what these Pokemon has. But uh, yeah, I switched into Skarmory. To not only really take these hits because I was fearing a rock type move from Lunatone. I thought he was gonna have a rock stab and uh, Ninetales was saying no chance. But um, yeah, you'll see eventually that. Well, like I said, I'm trying to see what I could do about this Lunatone right quick. We could either Steel Wing or we could just go for Fly on the Zatu, which I think I just did. And uh, Swampert could just try to slowly deal with that Lunatone because we all know that Surf isn't going to kill this thing. 
But yeah, we gotta take another sidekick. That looks like a crit. Oh, apparently it wasn't a crit. And they're gonna put my Kenny to sleep. So I won't be able to go fly on the Zatu. Because I wanna take it out. Because Swamper can't really deal with it. Because I didn't teach it Ice Beam. Again, for the same reason. Eventually, I'm gonna teach him a different move besides Money Water. And uh, I didn't want to just end up teaching a move and then replacing it. Because it's not 5th gen or, or the following. Because you can't use TMs infinitely. So I got no choice. But we got the blue flute so I could wake him up. Thank God I remember that. Unfortunately though, I didn't remember the fact. And you'll see me do this in a second. And Kenny just die here. Um, let's see. Do I do it right now or do I do it later? Yeah. Kecleon! Remember Kecleon? I taught it Shadow Ball just earlier. It had Shadow Ball and I completely forgot the fact that I could have used them so much earlier, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Thinking about my logic, you know, bringing in Skarmory against Lunatone, you know, it might have rock moves, so it's not the worst thing in the world. At the same time, Garrison has amazing special defense. I don't know why I was targeting Cartman for a split second. Either way though, Shadow Ball is an amazing move, and especially for Garrison because um, it's a physical move. Ghost is physical in this game. So Shadow Ball is wonderful uh, with Clay Cleon. Are you kidding me? Or any normal type, really. So they're going to do wonders. And Wendy's level 38. So I'm glad I switched her out because they literally targeted Skarmory the entire time. That's why he went down. But now the next Pokemon, Solrock. Holding the Citrus Berry has Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Psychic, and Flamethrower. This is the reason why Zatu had Sunny Day. And this is Liza's Pokemon, by the way. It's because as soon as Zatu goes down, Solrock comes in, and Solar Beam will not take two turns, but just one turn to hit. And here's the Citrus Berry right there for Lunatone. Not only that, Flamethrower will get a boost, so whatever's in front of you, like Swamper right here, he could just Solar Beam me and I'd be dead. So we really need to take care of that Solrock right now, because he is very dangerous, and he's doing that. He didn't set up the Sunny Day though, so luckily enough, we don't have to worry all that much. So I, hopefully I did target the Soul Rock because I am going to go for it. I mean, if, if, if it was me right now, I'd do it. Okay, good. I wasn't being dumb. I, uh, I was being dumb earlier because I forgot the fact that I gave Kecleon Shadow Ball. Other than that, though, it should be fine. So, yeah. So, one more to go. And uh, for Ruby and Sapphire, they had the, 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 these two Pokemon, the duo, the duo, uh, what was it called? The Mystic Duo. The Mystic Combination is more like it. And um, the same move set, no Citrus Berries, and it is pretty dangerous. If they had Rock moves, I feel like they would be more of a threat. But that is it for Tate and Liza, the Mystic Combination. What, our combination was shattered? It can't be helped. You won. So I recognition. Take this! Alright. And we received the Mind Badge from Tate and Liza! The Mind Badge enhances the special attack of the special defensive Pokemon! It also lets you use the ancient move dive outside battle! You should also take this too! You obtained TMO for it. I don't know why I gave Tate the girl voice in the end there, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. And anyway. TMO4 contains Calm Mind! Yeah, I went there. It raises special attack and it raises special defense. It's move that's perfect for second Pokemon! I don't know why I decided to change it in the end, but we got uh, Tate and Liza and the Pokenav, and in the video when I was doing live commentary, I was like, it's still kind of early-ish in the video, and I usually do long videos for this series. I don't know why I decided to do that, but... I end up deciding to go to the Trick House in this episode because the fact uh, that the Trick House usually takes not that much time because it literally always takes me 10 minutes. No exception here, if you look at the time now, um, then you know it's like 12 minutes from now I suppose, but for 14 I guess, wait, yeah 14 minutes, something like that. Around 10 minutes, it doesn't take as long so it might as well go to the Trick House. And I forgot what I was talking about before the gym battle, but I was so glad that uh, even though, it, like, the pros and cons that I was talking about, um, and I didn't want to go to Malville, that's why I was, like, confused and decided to fly again. I don't remember what I was talking about earlier, but um, 
Regardless of the fact, the pros and cons when it comes to that stuff, and I know I just repeated myself, uh, during live commentary, you might forget to do some things, and if you do forget to do them, post commentary could do that job for you. It's, you know, like, oh, you could remember to do that. So, I didn't have my notes out in live commentary, but since I did post commentary, and I was checking if there were gym leaders in my poking app because I was just wondering about that, and those are my badges right there. One more badge to go, and we got exactly 3,300 hours, which is kind of cool, I suppose. You're being watched. And, uh, let's see, where am I being watched at? I'm gonna check the tables right here, I'm gonna check the windows, I'm gonna check the cabinet, and I'm gonna check the drawer, or rather, I was just checking the drawer. But, uh, yeah, we find them in the, consume myself in the cupboard, that's, that's what it's called. You, you come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Uh, so, uh, what was I saying, though? Like, the whole post-commentary thing. Alright, I, I, I did what I didn't do before. That's, that's, that's a good thing. I just don't like that I do that. I, I should just drop the conversation, really, about that, because I keep forgetting, cutting myself off, and bringing it up. But this is what known as, uh, basical, basical? Uh, that's a new word. Basic puzzle. Uh, from the gym in Fortry, so uh, just work yourself a way around, and uh, you should be fine, pretty much. Um, I don't remember what else I was talking about. I was talking about school, and I was talking about that dude texting or whatever. When I heard there was a strange house, I just had to check it out. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was trying to go for. What was I really talking about? But, uh, I might bring it up in the, not the following episode, but the episode after that. So I guess it is still the following episode. Or whatever. But this is a swab blue. That's cool. He has, he's using mist. He's, he's using mist. Um. I don't remember what else I was talking about. Hopefully, I remember. Because I, I'm, I feel like, in my opinion, I'm pretty good at remembering conversations that I dropped and trying to bring it around and finishing that topic um, but if if I were to remember if it was something related to school I already talked about that and I already talked about Friday class and I do have a presentation I do have to do and we defeated Pokemon Ranger Sophia I discovered a tough trainer what levels were they? I feel like I remember them being really high leveled in my standards. I think they were like level 40? Or something like that? I feel like it was, wasn't it? Let me look at the levels right quick on this guy. I'm getting dizzy from these rotating doors! Because I remember I stopped my conversation and then my gym battle started. Sebastian! Alright, what's the levels here? A Cacturn, level 39. So it's on par to our entire team. So, that's actually pretty cool. At the same time, like I said before, it makes me feel so much more comfortable on the fact of that. So, yeah, that's awesome, right? That's awesome. Uh, level 39. Alright, pretty cool. And that's it for Sebastian. So, not much. Everything's spinning around and around. Alright, I didn't get to finish the rest of that, but that's fine. It's whatever. We got the scroll right here. Um... As for the gym, oh man, it really bothers me that I don't remember what I was talking about. Like I dropped the whole thing, and I was confused about this. I was like, hey, how do I, how do I get past there? I don't understand. I don't understand the thing. Like, how do I do that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Either way, though, uh, for Pokemon Emerald version in a whole so far, I'm uh, the couple episodes that are left. Like I was trying to say before the gym, not before the gym leaders. I remember, and this is the part that stunned me the most. I think, right, right, right. Was it? I think so, right? Well, I'm confused right now, being confused about this puzzle. Yeah, I, I think it was this one. Um, 
after episode 53. Episode 53, there's something special for you guys. Episode 54, I'm going to take care of certain something uh, pertaining to the ocean. But episode 55, I think I'm going to bring a guest to, to take care of most of the ocean. Because throughout most of the game that's left, maybe I could get my bird Pokemon to fly over the wall. That's not how these walls work, because I'm pretty sure these walls are attached to these ceilings, so you won't be flying very well. It's a Swayla, level 36. Um, I'm pretty sure episode 55 is going to be an hour special, because I'm going to take care of most of the ocean trainers, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. If an hour passes, I'm not going to, like, go close to an hour in 30 minutes. It's just, that's just crazy talk. But I'm gonna try to bring a guest. If it takes a while, then I do apologize. It took a while to post up last episode because of the post commentary issue. Like, it's been like, I don't know, nearly a week since I posted a video. Since, uh, lately I've been posting other videos as well, like in a bridge episode. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of been a while. Um. Uh, it kills me though. I don't know why I don't remember. It's probably not anything. I probably already said what I wanted to say um, for the thing. I think that's the case, to be honest. I'll see. If not, I'll bring it up again. I'll, I'll, I'll say that this is the thing I wanted to remember in the before the gym leader, but we got ourselves Pelepper here, and I was pretty darn certain that I could kill this thing with Windy, which is why I stayed in with it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with just a Will-O-Wisp and try to wear it down, and I think after that, I just quick attack it to death. Um, there's not that much le uh, not not that much time left for the Trick Master House because I do believe this is the last trainer. So I literally don't remember what I do for the rest of the video if I already finished it. It's literally been 10 minutes almost. Well, it's been eight minutes so far. Um, for the whole Trick House challenge in total. I do like the Trick House challenges, I just don't like how easier they get. Because in the beginning, you know, in the first time we've been to this Trick House challenge, it took us like about 20 minutes, and for the rest of those, it just, it just kept wearing down time until it kept on doing 10 minutes in a row, over and over and over again. Um, but yeah. Other than that, um... It's, uh... What else? The Shoal Cave we still need to take care of. I think we might take care of the high t or There was the high tide. Never mind. We might take care of the low tide in the next episode. Just hopefully that it is, in fact, down. Uh, but it depends on the hours. And I didn't post the little graph of what I wanted. Because um, pretty much the reason is because I... I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I might have posted something, actually. I'm not sure. If I didn't post anything, is for the reason that I was planning to say in the first place. I just couldn't do anything about that. So, I'm gonna go for a flamethrower right here. It's a feature site. Alright. Uh, we're gonna finish the Zatu off. I kind of find it funny that a Zatu's here, of all places, in the Trick House Challenge. So... Yeah, that's it for Bird Keeper Benny. I feel like that match took a while. I think it's only because of that Pelepper. That's literally the only reason. But this is the last puzzle right here. Uh, we didn't even make it to 10 minutes. So, Trick Master's my life. Sucker's my life, man. The lock licked open. Not the, not the lock lick... Or what did I say before? The clock lick open? I don't know. What do you have to say, man? I'm just sitting here with you. Do you have that candle ready for or whatever? The, unless that's a can of something. Hey, you made it to me, huh? You're sharp. You take it all night to do that thing. I almost have my equal and my grain is half. Fine, have you have this stuff? Wow, that text went by quickly. It's a magnet, though. Scrub that smug smurf off your face. It's much jolly you think you won. I make I make new tricks to stump you. I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment of uh, la 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 la. Yu Yu Hockey Show. I think that's that's the show I said in the original recording. It's a great show. I don't know if you ever watched it. Um, it's mostly about like you know this one guy that rescued this little boy and got hit by a car, and in the spirit world they thought that he d he did a very commendable thing, 
and uh, they gave him laser beams that shoot out of his hands. And once you do like a little gun symbol, you know how you put the thumb up in the air and you point the finger? He has a spear gun, and it's pretty cool. And uh, uh, his school bully got superpowers too. Not really superpowers, he has like a saber sword. It's really difficult talking about anime sometimes, so, you know, that's pretty much about it. But I think uh, that's going to be it for this video. I literally don't know what I'm going to do for the next three minutes, but uh, there we go. I think we're just going to go heal off first. But yeah, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is an awesome show. I don't know if you ever watched it. If I did already say Yu Yu Hakusho in a previous thing, because I know I did uh, the next exciting installment of Dragon Ball Z. That's, the, that's around the third gym, or before the third gym, rather. After the third gym to the fourth gym, I said, "Nice next exciting installment of Digimon," and then I said Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I said, "Uh, Beyblade." I think I think I said Beyblade. But we got ourselves the magnet, and that boosts the electrical attacks, and that's gonna help Jimmy out. And I think uh, I said, uh, "Yokai Watch" or something like that. You know, that was the previous one. Was that really all of them? I don't know. But, uh, I was trying to give items. I don't know, does this really took like the next two minutes or whatever? I, well, I was looking through my items because I did want to have King's Rock on one of my Pokemon. I gave the Magnet to Jimmy, as you already know. I gave Swampert the, uh, Mystic Water. And I think I gave Kecleon the Quick Claw because he's rather slow. And I think I'm getting from my stand PC the charcoal that I have because it's going to boost the fire, ty uh, fire type's attacks. And I was going to say, in the Ruby and Sapphire version, when Lunatone and Soul Rock, you could easily have like uh, Houndoom because they don't have rock type or ground type moves against those two. But that's only in the Ruby and Sapphire version. You can't do that in, in this game because Claydol's going to murder you. But we're going to go pick up the charcoal and give it to. Nine tails because he's already caught up to our party and that's really good. He's already like about just about level I think he's level 38. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he's level 39 but We're giving the King's Rock to Skarmory and then the charcoal to uh, nine tails And I don't think I'm gonna be using the experience share no longer um, And I think that's all my Pokemon. So yeah, I guess that's what I did for the next three minutes It seemed like it's long, but it really wasn't long at all But we're gonna go fly back to Moss Deep City, and uh, yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. I promise you, I'm gonna remember what I was gonna say in the next episode, or maybe not in the next episode. Maybe, okay, well, I'm not sure. But yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we're gonna go do something about that Space Center warning. Other than that, White Tigers and Dragons to you.